Well, there's a lot of anger brewing among some faculty and student groups at the University of Regina. They're furious that the school is refusing to cancel or censor an upcoming lecture on missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls. The controversy centers on an award-winning Canadian poet invited to deliver the talk. Bonnie Allen explains. This upcoming lecture and poetry reading about murdered and missing Indigenous women at the University of Regina has become so contentious it has triggered resignations, calls for a boycott and pleas from some faculty and student groups to postpone or cancel the talk. The lecture will be given by former Poet Laureate of Canada, George Eliot Clark. And it turns out Clark has a working relationship and friendship with a Regina man who killed an Indigenous woman. It was 20 years ago, but the racial tensions are still raw in Saskatchewan. A university basketball star, Stephen Comerfield, lured an Indigenous woman named Pamela George outside Regina for sex. His friend, Alex Ternowetsky, was hiding in the trunk. They beat her to death. Comerfield now lives in Mexico and publishes poetry under a new name. Clark has edited Comerfield's poetry and worked with him for well over a decade. Clark says he was unaware of Comerfield's violent past, but he may or may not read poetry from Comerfield during his lecture in Regina on January 23rd. Morally, I don't have any uh, necessary qualms about uh, reciting something if I feel that it belongs in the context of this talk. Two professors have resigned from the selection committee over this. Other faculty members have called for the university to postpone the talk so they can consult with Indigenous groups. The Dean of Arts, Richard Clear, has said, as a matter of principle, denying someone a speaking platform or censoring their message simply because they have had a working relationship with a convicted criminal goes against everything a university should stand for. The dean also says the university may have selected a different speaker if it had known about this relationship, but now it must stand by the invitation. It expects Clark to deliver a strong message against violence and racism. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.